All right, moving on to question three. Did any of you use services or tutors to help you prepare for the SAT? If so, what services? Uh, so I remember when I was studying for the SAT, I had like the big books. Yes. The SAT prep books. And my, my, dad, my dad would sit me down in his office and for like a couple hours at a time, I would just go through the books just study all the information yeah. and then do like the little practice tests at the end of each section. So it helped, I guess, you know, I did pretty well on my SATs, I think. Um, there are easier ways now. <laughs> yeah. So parents shouldn't lock their kids well, in the room and make them to study. Be I fair, mean, you can still buy those bad boys on Amazon. Oh, I had um, like five of them on I my looked, ass if you want one. Oh. All right, so put your address yeah. in the comments below. Mackenzie's going to send you an <laughs> SAT prep. For free. I don't want them. Definitely take practice tests, though. I think College yeah. Board has, like, a full-length practice test you can take online if your school doesn't offer them, so. They yeah. do. Yeah, they definitely do, and they are the people that make the SAT, so what better place to take a practice than from the source itself? Yeah. I mean, I really just, I used the free resources that were available to me. Um, I didn't feel the need to have my parents pay for a tutor or um, extra classes and I also was overwhelmed with my schoolwork so I just didn't feel like it was worth my time um, and I ended up doing well so it really depends. Um, I know that some of us test well and some of us test poorly and that doesn't say anything about your intelligence or your capabilities academically it just means that you retain and regurgitate information differently, <laughs> essentially. Um, and I think you kind of know what yeah, kind of test taker you are. So definitely. You, know, you kind of struggle. I struggled at test taking. Like, I had really good grades, but when it came to taking tests, I don't know, it was like the pressure of taking the test. Yeah, definitely. Nervous. It's a lot of anxiety. So I think, like, for kids like me, uh, maybe spend, like, a few months before you take the test practicing a bit more. And it's sucks that you have to spend more time doing that, but I think just like preparing yourself for that yeah. test, practicing with the full length practice test mm -hmm. kind of helps with like the anxiety of taking it and maybe makes you less nervous for it. Yeah, definitely. The, having the knowledge of what it's going to look like, I think relieves a lot of that anxiety mm -hmm. right off the bat. Yeah. And also with Anthony talking about those big books, I totally did those too. But another thing that I used all the time was flashcards. And I know flashcards are kind of old school. Uh, they still definitely work. And you can also get an app and just make flashcards on definitely. your phone. Yeah. And just have them come up. So I think... Uh, SAT Word Game. Yeah, SAT Word Game on yeah. com <laughs> is basically a flashcard. So uh, we'll link that in the description below. Something that um, we created that's a lot of fun. It works on your phone. Everything's... Uh, Cool, you get scored, you get a little achievements as you go up, and you can share it out with your friends. Uh, that's uh, a, a great asset to have, but when it comes down to just flashcards in general, it could be math problems, it could be SAT, vocab, it could be any, any one of those things. Make the flashcards, especially with things that you struggle with. And again, as Abby said, everybody learns differently, so if flashcards aren't your thing, don't use them. Mm -hmm. uh, find what works well for you when you study and how to. There are a lot of apps nowadays too for preparing. Uh, you could download them and they give you send you like a question a day or something like that, and you could just do it like a couple months beforehand every day, just answering yeah. a question. There's a lot of apps that are really yeah. helpful. I mean, when I was in high school and and some of us in this room were in high school, there were no smartphones, um, so we didn't really have that option. Um, no key of brick, baby. <laughs> yep, that's right. Um, so that wasn't an option, but for you guys it is now, which is wonderful. Um, I even have, I mean, I'm 29 years old, I have a vocabulary app on my phone because <laughs> it's good to keep your vocabulary strong. And um, I'm a writer, I have to yeah, use, I have to use fun words sometimes. Um, but yeah, I mean, find the apps that work for you, whether it's, you know, actual vocab type um, quizzing or whether it's just task management and organization just to hold yourself accountable, um, keep yourself on a schedule. 
And again, I mean, I think we keep saying about the practice test how important that is. So regardless of if you do end up getting a tutor, um, make sure you're putting the time aside to study for the practice test and then treat like treat the practice test like the real the real deal. Um, so, you know, and you can make it a, a kind of a reward system for yourself as well. You know, every time you study, um, give yourself not only a pat on the back because you're working really hard, but you know, set up yourself a little reinforcement schedule so that you can have, you know, something that you don't typically have or just something that's a nice treat for you. Um, and on the day that you do your practice test, you know, make a, a plan to go get ice cream after or, you know, whatever it may be that's going to make your day a good day after that. And then that will help alleviate the stress on the actual day of the test, knowing that you sat through that practice test, you got through it, you're still alive and well, you can do it again. And then, you know, you'll just move on with your life after that. So I think that'll help take a little pressure off your shoulders. My siblings are in high school right now, and they say they get told from their counselors and parents to use Kane Academy. Yeah, you have that? Yeah. Um, I think they provide a lot of practice questions, too. And I think they have tutors, uh, or online tutors. No. That's um, kind of similar to Magoosh, too, which is one of our older partners, um, and especially for SAT vocab. Uh, they're huge on that. So there's, as we mentioned, a whole load assortment of different... Uh, Jealous, they have all these resources. Tools, like we yeah. have the book. <laughs> <laughs> we have the big book, yeah. As yeah. Abby mentioned, when she's saying, reward yourself at the end, I was like, burn that book at the end. It's done, it's over. Like good candy, burn like right or there. sell it for cash. <laughs> yeah. I used to get, like, little candies, like M&M's or Skittles. If I got, like, you know enough questions right or finished enough questions in a certain amount of time I'd be like, I get like five Skittles. <laughs> Stay <laughs> motivated. Question the Skittles uh, ratio, I like it. You have to have, uh, you know, self-control for that though. <laughs> if they're sitting right there. Doesn't get the question right. <laughs> if you're just yeah, doing the Skittles <laughs> yeah. instead of doing the questions, you're yeah. doing it wrong. Yeah. I would start making like a design of the Skittles because I have short attention span. Oh, the different colors. Yeah, I think, uh, so, one question that I think only Abby answered, did you guys have tutors at all? I didn't. I did, I don't remember if it was for the SATs or not. I think it was, it was because I, I redid the SATs once yeah. to try to improve my math score, and I did go to a tutor, and you know, it helped, but I don't know, math was never really my strong subject to begin with, so I didn't really do that much better the second time. So, I don't know, it's hit or miss. I had my older brother, but he didn't do good on the SAT, so I probably shouldn't have used him as a resource. <laughs> no. That's a, yeah, my sister is fantastic for using your siblings as a resource if they're older or if they're knowledgeable in whatever area. My sister is great for anything English related. So whenever I write a paper, even to this day, if I'm like, I have an important document that I want, I'm like, Megan, what are you doing? Take you out to dinner. Like, <laughs> take a look at this. But, um, use those different resources that you have. Uh, we didn't have an official tutor. I went to a private school and we had SAT prep program mm -hmm. and going through all of that stuff. I'm sure uh, like a lot of high schools do that too. I did, for sure. Yeah, it, they, they really do drill you um, right down and you, you just keep going over and over things. So it is basically like the plastic practice exam, <laughs> but you're with teachers and so you have more of a not motivation, but uh, you have to answer to somebody. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the self-control with the Skittles or the M&Ms, there's somebody waiting and mm -hmm. saying, hey, why didn't this happen? It's mm -hmm. not just your parents telling you to go study. Right, yeah. So I never did that. Exactly. When they told me to. Yeah, then you just go to your room and pull out your phone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not actually do it. Sit there next to the book. 